Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mindy uh, and the name of this channel is Mindy's Crafts and Cash. This channel will be about budgeting and crafting. I'm retired and living on social security basically and living my best life. I do diamond painting, card making, scrapbooking, coloring, glue booking, and collaging. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk about mahjong and <clears throat> winning and losing and change and replenishing my purse. This is the purse I use for mahjong. It holds my mahjong card. Uh, they do, uh, you have to buy a new one every year. And in mahjong, you have to sort of uh, like a, um, uh, a card game, but we play it with tiles. And you have to try to make one of these hands, they're called. Um, every week, I play Mahjong one day, and we play for $5 pie. Now, pie is P-I-E, and that means purse is empty. So after you lose your $5, if you do, you get to play for free until hopefully you win and somebody pays you, and then you have money again to pay somebody else. But you do keep playing. On the card, they have values for the hands, and that's how much each hand pays if you win. So for example, if I won this hand, for 25 cents, this one right here, um, the other three players would each pay me 25 cents. If I pick my own winning tile, then they would double it and pay me 50 cents each. We also play with four people and sometimes we have a fifth and that person, we rotate in and out and that person walks around and decides before the game starts who they think is going to win. They're called the better. And then if they do win, uh, the losers have to pay the better and they have to pay the winner. So you could pay a dollar or more for a losing hand when somebody else wins. Now what I had started to do was I had started to put all of my winnings into this jar. However, the weeks that I lost, let's say I lost $2, I would replenish my purse for the next week, but I would replenish it from other money. So what I have decided to do, since the year is nearly over, and this is about, I think, more than a year's worth of change, I'm going to roll it and put it in the bank, and I am going to start next year with $25, and each week I will either put my winnings in or take my losings out to replenish my purse back to the $5, and then it will be fun to see at the end of the year if I have any money left, if I had to replenish the pot, or if I increased my money. So for today, we're going to be taking out this money and we're going to be um, sorting it and counting it. And hopefully uh, I'll roll it because my bank doesn't... Uh, want to take it anymore. Um, actually, I think they will take it and they put it in a bag and count it. I would rather know right away, uh, you know, exactly how much I have and just give it in as a deposit. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to come back in a little bit when I have everything nicely piled up and then we will count it and see what it is. We'll leave $25 in here for next year, and we will see if it grows or if it diminishes. Okay, I'm back. I've separated all of the money. I'm going to keep $25 out for next year, starting January. So let's put that back in the jar. Five, no, one, no. 
This is $5 here. Love that cloak of money. Okay, that's ten dollars. I'm gonna do twenty dollars in quarters, and then I'll do five dollars in small change. Some of the uh, hands we play for are thirty cents. So you do need those nickels and dimes uh, to pay, as well as to give change when somebody is paying you. Okay, this is $15. Actually, that's $20. And now I will do $5. Here's another dollar in dimes. 21. 22, Ooh, hard to handle. There's some nickels, 23. So this is my money for next year. Now, I also had been saving money from Mahjong winnings in here. I also will um, put these out and then I will sort them out and I will roll them up and I'm going to deposit all this money into the bank and I'm going to be starting an air conditioning fund. I live in Florida, the air conditioning works all year long. Um, a few days in the winter, uh, it goes into heat. Um, the machine has a, an a air conditioning, a cooling and a heating element on it. And we work these machines very hard and they're very expensive to replace. Mine is already seven years old, so I have no idea how long it's gonna last. So it's time I start saving my pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and dollars for a new air conditioner. So that's what I will be doing. Thank you very much for watching, watching my channel. I really appreciate it to all of you who have subscribed. And I hope that um, you will like this video. Like, 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 as Lisa on figuring out retirement does every week and that would be really helpful have a great day and i'll see you again soon thanks again for watching summary i rolled all of the money that was in here except for the 25 dollars that's it and uh, everything I had in the bank that I could. I still have a lot of dimes left over, but I didn't have any dime wrappers. Uh, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 52 dollars to take to the bank to start my air conditioning fund. And at that time, I will ask for dime wrappers, uh, which they do provide. These I purchase at like Dollar Tree or Walmart. They're a little easier to use because they come formed. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching again my video and off to play Mahjong. Have a great day.